How's it going, y'all? I'm Gil, and in this video, I want to talk about this. This microphone blocking my mouth, taking over the entire frame. And I remember a couple of years ago, uh, filmmakers, content creators, podcasters, you name it, who were doing video did not want the uh, microphone to be picked up on camera. It was just, it was a thing back in the day. I remember, in, I remember clearly where people will find creative ways to capture audio and they will just do like some tricks and it'll be like a cool way to like find, you know, record audio will be like a, a zoom H four N like this, maybe like on the desk, you know, up and it'll be recording the audio and your video will look really clean, but all over the internet, you see people with boom arms and it's fine. I totally love boom arms. I have plenty of boom arms and they work great. Uh, there are a couple of things wrong with them, in my opinion. Like you have this amazing set, this amazing room, this amazing studio space. And then you have like this, you know, thing kind of just blocking the frame or sometimes like blocking your mouth. And you're not really able to, uh, you know, see what the person is saying. And quite frankly, like, we don't need this. Like, this microphone is not even on. Like, I'm, I'm not even using that mic. I'm actually using a boom mic. I'm using the video mic NTG. And if you've been paying attention, I, I really hope you have. My last couple of videos on YouTube, I was actually, I have been actually using the video mic NTG as a boom mic because I really love the freedom here. Like, I can quite literally do ninjutsu and not bump into the microphone there are so many times where i'm recording a podcast or doing a youtube video and i hit the mic bump the mic it's it's aggravating and i don't know if you noticed but while i'm using this i'm even though it wasn't on i'm gravitating towards it i'm leaning in i'm making sure that um my whole body is more physically leaned in towards the mic so that way you can get better audio which is great which is important and i've trained myself to do that but man does that really get annoying sometimes and i'm going to give you three reasons why you should look into using a shotgun mic now what is a shotgun mic a shotgun mic is pretty much that instead of being like a you know in your face microphone you use a shotgun mic now this can be used as an in-your-face microphone, you can use it any way you want to, but majority of the time it is out of the frame. It's it looks really good. I'm gonna make sure, like, right. Let me show you where it's at. So right here, see how it's coming into the shot. I have it just slightly above that, and it's pointed right at me. And I'm actually I have it mounted onto an Elgato Wave arm, so that way I'm able to you know flex the where I want the head to be. It can be lower. It can be higher. And that probably made a bunch of mic noise. And I do apologize, but I really just love this look. Let's let's jump into three reasons why you should be using boom mic or shotgun mic, whatever you want to call it. So the first one for me is the sleek and just it looks really good. So right now, this looks very professional. It's very clean. Like the room is great. Like I have some good lighting here. I'm, I'm able to showcase, you know, the LED light back there. I'm able to showcase the room divider with the light without having a microphone take the whole frame. Um, or I remember even using these, these floor stands, these, these microphones that, that are on the floor that, and they just make the shot look so tacky sometimes. And it doesn't look so, it doesn't look professional in my opinion. Like I, I just, I really loathe these mic stands. And when I've gotten the Elgato Wave Arms, they have come in clutch because they can quite literally do so many different things. And it's able to be mounted up really high and far. So that way I can put a shotgun microphone and it can have this directional aim towards my mouth and it picks me up clearly. So the beautiful thing about not having the microphone again is just it's going to keep you focused on me and it's going to like remove the products like yeah we love all these products but sometimes when i'm watching a youtube video 
I'm, I'm looking at the microphone and I'm like, oh, what microphone is that? And then I'm zoning out like, oh, okay, wow, they're using that microphone arm? Interesting. And then I'm like low-key judging the creator. But when, it, when we don't have these distractions, it's just me and my ideas and you. So that's one of the reasons why I love not using a visible mic and using a boom mic or shotgun mic. Another thing that you probably are going to notice is the audio quality sounds good too. Like the audio quality is to me a lot better. So I'm not on the microphone. So there's no plosives. I'm not spitting or popping onto the mic. Like it's a little bit further away and it, it sounds more crisper and cleaner in my opinion. And I, I love the sound of it. I'm going to actually uh, use the Wave DX mic and y'all can hear the difference. So there is no editing or process or processing going on here. This is the wave DX mic. And I, I love the sound of this mic. This mic, this mic sounds great. Um, it's really good, but you have to watch out for the plosives. You have to basically, you know, speak a little bit more professional to not, because this microphone is pretty sensitive and, and it does sound good. But I love the sound of the uh, the Rode VideoMic NTG. It's a little bit further away, and, it, and it's actually just meant for that. It's not meant to be, like, right on your mouth. Uh, even though this one is, the shotgun mic uh, isn't. Um, but, yeah, that's enough of that. Let's get back into the shotgun mic. So right now you're listening to me on the elgato wave dx mic and right now you're listening to me on the video mic ntg so let's move this mic out of the way so the last reason why i love boom or shotgun mics is the fact that you you're going to get a lot of versatility i'm able to have a microphone connected and be able to like you know showcase different things different products I'm able to do a lot of cool things and not have a microphone be in the way. I can actually have a, it on a C stand. I can have it on the auto pole and it, it be connected and not interfere with whatever I'm doing with a microphone that is connected like this. There's not really much flexibility. Like I have to get it close to my mouth. I have to, um, there's really no other way around it. Uh, the audio is going to be great. It's going to be really good, sometimes even better than a shotgun microphone. But the overall experience for you, you're going to be watching me like lean in towards the microphone. Uh, you're going to watch me like, you know, hit the mic maybe or like whatever the case is. But it's really up to you what you want to do. But I really love the look of a shotgun mic and this is what I, I really loved, you know, having a clean setup, you know, having just nothing but me, my thoughts and my ideas and you. That's great. All right, y'all. Hope you all enjoyed this quick video. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Would you use a shotgun mic or would you rather use, you know, a traditional, you know, visible on camera microphone? Like, what, what do you think? All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next video.